हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज लीना डेनियन फैकल्टी सिस्टिक इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज भोपाल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस डबल रिवॉल्विंग फील्ड थ्योरी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड डबल रिवॉल्विंग फील्ड थ्योरी द सिंगल फेस इंडक्शन मोटर परफॉर्मेंस कैन बी एनालाइज और डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय डबल रिवॉल्विंग फील्ड थ्योरी एस इन अर्लियर लेक्चर आई टॉट यू दैट सिंगल फेस इंडक्शन मोटर is not a self starting so according to the double revolving field theory a stationary pulsating magnetic field can be resolved into two rotating fields each of equal magnitude but rotating in opposite direction so consider this diagram in this diagram the this shows the half of the when we connect it with the single phase supply the half of the conductors contains flux in one direction and half of the conductors contain in opposite direction so let us consider this revolving diagram as shown in this figure a let the alternating flux has magnetic maximum value of phi m this is the maximum value of flux and this maximum flux is resolved into two components that is a and another one is b and its component flux a and b will each equal to phi m by 2 and phi m by 2 and both are revolving in anti clockwise and clockwise direction respectively c a is revolving in anti clockwise direction and b is revolving in clockwise direction after some time when a and b would have rotated through angle plus theta and minus theta let's see the another diagram at any angle theta the a at plus theta angle and b at minus theta angle and the resultant flux and the resultant flux would be phi m cos theta after a quarter cycle of rotation flux a and b will be oppositely directed means consider this this diagram at 90 degree means this is at 0 degree this is at any angle theta and this diagram reflects at 90 degree both the fluxes at equal and opposite directed so the resultant flux would be zero after a cycle flux a and b will have a resultant of minus phi m means at the angle 180 degree let consider this diagram at angle 180 degree means at this position it is plus phi m means this is the position for 0 degree and this position is for 180 degree and the resultant flux would be minus phi m if we plot a values of resultant flux if we and similarly at 270 degree it is like that means at this position at 270 degree again both fluxes at the equal and opposite direction now plot the flux value of the flux at at omega t reference so at 0 degree flux is maximum at 90 degree it becomes zero again at 180 degree maximum in negative at 270 degree it is again zero and again if we come back to the 0 degree or 360 degree it is maximum so this is the plot of the flux now now i will give you the rotor slip with respect to the two rotating fields means uh, this this is my notes from that i i am teaching you after that i will send you the pdf also so let's see the rotor slip with respect to the two rotating fields means as we seen that the according to the double revolving theory there are 
two fields one is in the forward direction one is in the reverse or backward direction so that we know ns is the synchronous speed nr is the rotor speed if we see the equation for the slip slip is the forward slip which forward slip is the main slip which is responsible to rotate the motor so it is ns minus nr upon ns further we can write it 1 minus nr upon ns so this slip is for the forward field and for the backward field it is ns minus at at place of the nr we put minus nr because it gives the backward field so it the equation for the slip becomes ns plus nr upon ns which is 1 plus nr upon ns now these are the two equation this is for the forward field this is for the backward field when we add these two fields two slips we get the expression sf plus sb is equal to 1 minus nr upon ns plus 1 plus nr upon ns we cancel out these two terms so we get sf plus sb is equal to 2 sf is the original slip so we can put sf is equal to s so we get the slip expression for the backward field that is sb is equal to 2 minus s hence the rotor slip with respect to the two rotating fields are different for the forward field it is s for the backward field it is 2 minus s so by these two slips i can draw i will draw the torque speed characteristic of the single phase induction motor so this is the torque speed characteristic for the single phase induction motor let it is similar to the as we uh, learn about the three phase induction motors torque speed curve so see the single phase induction motor torque slip curve that is the axis for torque this is this is the axis for speed this this at this point speed is ns at this point it is 0.5 at this point nr is 0 at this point slip is 1.5 and at this point slip is 2 and speed is minus ns there are two curves each of the two component fluxes while revolving round the stator cuts the rotor induce an emf and this produces its own torque obviously the two torques this is this is called forward and backward torque are oppositely directed so the net torque is equal to their differences so just the upper curve shows the torque due to the forward field and the lower curve shows to the torque due to the backward field and the this is the resultant torque and the resultant torque is responsible for the rotation of the single phase induction motor means if there are two fields and if there are two torques forward torque and backward torque so two responsible torque to rotate the induction motor is forward torque so to make the induction motor to run we need to decrease the backward torque and as we decrease the backward torque the forward torque should be at the same time should be increases so the induction motor runs thank you have a nice day